Are you tired of watching your brilliant business idea collect dust while your cat judges you from across the room? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you exactly how to set up your WooCommerce sites from scratch. And I promise you, there are no technical headaches and no confusion. Just some simple steps that anyone can follow. So, grab your coffee and let's dive in. Now, first thing you need is a good hosting with an awesome performance. And not only that, you need a hosting which allows you to create sites with a couple of clicks without messing with the code or any other stuff. So, let's start with the hosting. The hosting I'm going to use in this video is called Rapid Cloud, the one you see on the screen right now. First things first, what is Rapid Cloud? It's a managed hosting for WordPress, which has a really good reputation. As you see currently, it has a 4.8 star rating in a Trustpilot. Now let's talk about performance. With uh, Rapid Cloud, your website stays fast and responsive even during high traffic peaks. It is because it's powered by Lightspeed Enterprise servers and it uses optimized caching with Lightspeed Cache and Redis. It allows Rapid to ensure that your site is always performing at its best. And not only that, it is designed to handle dynamic features and high concurrency without uh, missing a beat. It has a free Rapid CDN and Redis caching with Relay. And when it comes to security, then Rapid Cloud doesn't also hold back. With multi-layer proactive defenses like Komodo, Web Application Firewall, Advanced DDoS Protection, and Real-Time Vulnerability Detection, your data is safeguarded all the way. Plus, each website is isolated through containerization, ensuring maximum security and performance stability. What is also awesome is that they have a virtual patching for enhanced security, which ensures that your site remains secure until an official update is released. Plus, they have a malware protection, which is a really nifty feature. If you take a look at the current pricing table, then you'll see that prices start from $26 per month up to $269 per month. So based on your needs, choose the best plan that suits you the most. Now let's log in and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a site with a rapid cloud. Go to the sites and now there are two options, whether to create your first site or migrate an existing site. I'm not going to migrate a site from other hosting. I'm just going to create a new site. So I'm going to click on this button. I'm going to use plan I've already purchased. I'm going to choose the plan, continue. And now let's add a site name. I'm going to give it the name WooShop. Let's add a domain, WooShop. Pay attention that currently it uses Rapid Apps Cloud domain, but it's also easy to use your own domains. For example, woo.com or whatever it is. I have made a separate video about all the Rapid Cloud features. I'm going to put the link to this video on the video description so you can see what goodies does it have. Next one, server locations. Choose the closest to your customers. I'm going to choose Europe, PHP version, and now since we're going to use WooCommerce, I'm going to add this checkbox here and add site. Now it's going to take a couple of minutes while setting all up. When the site has been created, then you can log in by clicking either here or take a look at the email they sent you with the site credentials. I'm the lazy person here, so I'm going to log in by clicking here and done. As you see, WooCommerce is already installed. If I take a look at the site itself, you'll see it's a blank site. So first step has been completed. Now let's move to the next step. And that is we need to add a good WordPress team, which works well with WooCommerce. So let's go to the teams. I'm going to search for a team called Bloxy. It has been my go-to team for the last three years. It's an awesome team. I'm going to use the free version in this video. So let's activate it. And now we have to install a companion plugin, this one here. It's done. And we're redirected to the Bloxy menu. You can see it on the left. So let's go to the starter sites and I'm gonna choose free plans and I'm gonna choose e-commerce. Let's preview this one here. Well, I like it a lot, so I'm gonna import it. I'm not gonna use child team. I'm gonna use Gothenburg instead of Elementor. I'm gonna import all the content so that I can see how does it look like. Later I can delete or edit all the content here. Let's install it and usually it takes 20 seconds or so. It installs all the plugins and imports the content and the images. Next it says starter site imported. Let's take a look at the site and what do you know? Within a couple of minutes we set up our site and now let's move to the next step that is let's go to the customizer. 
you can also access the customizer from this menu here or you can go to the appearance and customize now I'm not gonna go through all the features this team has I'm just gonna show you that if you need to change the logo then click on the header select logo upload it set height and other parameters next choose your typography options colors and since we're using WooCommerce let's take a look at the products currently it looks like this but I like this layout more so I'm gonna set it to this view what else I can do I can open up card options and activate the cart and price now it looks like this one here much better so step two completed let's move to the step three that is let's go to the WooCommerce and settings and now you should add your address city choose your country important select the locations you sell if you just sell to one or two countries then just select the countries you sell and don't leave it to sell to all countries otherwise users have to scroll through all the 150 countries during the checkout next important part if you're using taxis on your site then enable tax rates enable coupons and choose currency for your shop i'm gonna choose euro and currency position is right let's save it and done next step let's go to the products and see whether the shop page is correct modify add to cart behavior select whether to enable stock management set the notification recipient and when this is done let's move to the next step that is let's go to the taxes choose whether to enter your prices inclusive of tax or exclusive my prices include taxes I'm gonna delete those two rates I'm not gonna use those display prices in the shop including tax and also in the cart including tax save changes I'm gonna go to the standard rates in third row I'm gonna add a country code rate is 22 percent tax name is value added tax and this way you can set all the tax rates for specific countries next step let's go to the shipping let's add zone for example sweden let's search for sweden or make it even easier i'm gonna add zone name european union let's search for europe and now i can choose all the european union countries if needed but to keep it short i'm gonna select all the countries next let's add a shipping method flat rate let's rename it as courier cost 15 create and save and this step is completed next step let's go to the payments and i'm gonna activate direct bank transfer i'm gonna open it up set my account name account number bank name and so on save changes and done if you need to add any other payment gateways then just install a plugin for example paypal or stripe or whatever it is now all the main tasks are completed next step let's go to the woocommerce and products categories as you see i have a bunch of categories here those were imported previously but in order to add a new category just add a name add a thumbnail add new category done this step is completed now let's move to the next step that is let's add a new product product name my demo product long description price sale price inventory sku shipping information short description next let's choose category for example furniture product image some images to the gallery if needed add product tags and done when i publish it and see the product there it is you can create different product types simple product group products variable products you can even create virtual and downloadable products now when this is done let's go to the next step that is i'm gonna go to my home page let's edit it and it's fairly simple just point and click change the text change the icon select the image box change the images and text once again in a similar way you can customize all the pages that were imported when this is completed and everything seems to be working well then test everything go to the checkout go to the 
cart, see whether everything works, test payment gateways, and if everything seems to be working well, then last thing to do is go to the settings, reading, and uncheck this box here. If this box is checked, then it discourages search engines from indexing this site. When I uncheck it, then I allow access to the site itself. Easy peasy. As you saw, it's not so difficult as one may think. Now I have made a separate video about 12 essential steps you have to take after installing WordPress. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.